Uh, hello? Yes, okay. Let's just tune you down a little bit. Ah, yes. Welcome to Coffee Talk. Yet another episode. My name is Sebastian Smith and I will be your barista for the day. I should probably tweet this out first. Um, to get all those people uh, watching my stream or following my Twitter. Also, yes, please follow my Twitter. VCA Smith! Yes. Uh, what, what, what do I write? What do I write? Um, what, what, what's a good tweet? I almost never tweet. A coffee a day. Oh, a coffee a day keeps the depression away. <laughs> uh, that's good. All right, that's all right. Let's tweet it out. See if people actually walk in after a while. And it's been five minutes. It's fine. They can they can walk in the middle of me playing coffee talk. All right. That's just. Hmm. Oh. Oh, there's one other thing I wanted to talk about. So, all right, um, you know how Coffee Talk, um, okay, maybe you guys don't know, but Coffee Talk has a mod where you can actually voice the characters in the game. And I am actually very excited. Um, I'm very excited. I might, no, I'm not, not might, I will probably, probably, wow. I'm so unsure of myself. I'm going to voice, I'm going to try my hand in voice acting. And I'm gonna try and voice some of the characters in Coffee Talk. Oh boy, it's gonna be so exciting. I don't know when it's gonna come out though, because I um I have a friend who is messing around with the modding tools. I might I might take a look at it myself one of these days. Maybe soon, maybe after this in fact. But yes, I don't know when I can start um voicing all Maybe not all, maybe it's just some of the male characters in Coffee Talk. But hey, it's there. Alright. Um, I think that's it. Yes, okay. Let's just jump right into it. Okay. Music is off. Transition to you. Hey, hello. Yes, let us continue. Was it load or continue? It's continue, okay. Have we been? I feel like we've been here before. Coachella organizer. No, I think we have been here before. Hold on. Sorry, we're not open yet. Oh, it's this one. No, no, no. Actually, we can just skip this one, I think. 18. Huh. We're here. We've done that one already. I remember. Oh, crap. Okay, I guess we haven't. Should we just speed it up? Okay, we can't... I guess we're gonna have to skip through it, All right? Let's save some time and skip through everything. I'm sorry, Neil. I really am. But... You've already seen your improvement, your wonderful, wonderful improvement in the English language and communicating. All right. I trust you with the decision. You know when you look at Freya in a different way? She actually does look a little bit attractive. I don't know, it's... is it me? Is it the look in her eyes? It's definitely not her hair. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
I think her hair is fine, actually. Her hair is nice. You don't see a lot of girls with short hair. Uh, probably because there's some sort of stereotype behind girls with short hair. Coffee with a little bit of ginger, please. this um she was like oh i'm pleasantly surprised that it's made this well okay oh it's our fish friend the cute girl with glasses and girls hey it's neil hi uh basically like oh oh we're a big company but we always do crunch times and everything we have no rests whatsoever and I think I remember our fish friend took them out for vacation which is nice which is very very thoughtful of her but I remember we got to the point where um, our friend was no our idol friend was in trouble with her dad or something evening whispers is with the people for stricter gun laws oh no the second amendment i'm not even american no i'm 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 half american technically New healthier fury sedative might be available sooner. That's nice. Action video game rising hell. Blame. <sighs> okay. Oh, hey. Hello, Mr. Baileys. Yep, I can't forward anymore because we haven't gotten to this point yet. That's nice. Evening. Am I the first customer tonight? Yes, you are. That's you. It is. You expecting someone? What? You're expecting the green hair? Oh, yes, okay. Freya's not here? No, she's not here. She said she's coming later tonight, okay. Got something to do with meeting some fellow writer friends. Oh, it's nice. Why not do it here? Uh, it's her favorite, favorite place, right? Her friends have visited this place from time to time. Just not as much as her. Writer scattering, huh? I wonder what writers talk about when they're hanging out. I can actually kind of imagine. Um, if it were me in that writer's group, I'd be talking about character development, um, plot line, stories, plot twists, setting. So many things to talk about. It's very interesting. Um, making a story is interesting. You should give it a try sometime, really. Like, there's nothing, there, there are a couple of things more satisfying, but there are a few things that are more satisfying than giving breath to an entire world, to to entire setting, to characters that you think are very interesting, to a story that people think is very interesting. You know? I know it's it's just um, as a kid back in the day, I had a lot of fun drifting off to distant worlds, sci-fi, fantasy, and stuff like that. I want to be able to do that to other people. It's, it's nice. I've known them for some years now. She has this habit, you know? Uh, if she said they're friends... Oh no! <laughs> I don't like where this is going. It means they're just hanging out normally. Okay. But if she said they were her writer friends... Okay. They're probably talking about what? Okay. Either giving each other feedback on their latest drafts or sharing and validating ideas. That's nice. Interesting. They even use code words for meeting up. Oh, it's not like that. She doesn't even realize that's what she says. <laughs> I just picked up on it. That's even more interesting. Are you always so observant? It's part of the job. It is kind of part of the job, if you're part of the service industry, to be observant, because you want to know... Um, the best kind of service is when you 
fulfill their needs before they even know it. They need it. Why is that? I mean, people come here every day. Some of them aren't as talkative as others, but their body language can be loud and clear. Yes, sometimes you could tell what a person is feeling just from looking at them. Um, when you've gone through so many people day in and day out, you get used to it. I can tell you a lot of things. Yes, you can. Whether they need a f oh, oh, mm, oh my gosh, yes, this, so much this, this, um, yes, when, when you've been, you, when you've been on, in the service industry for a long time, a long enough time, and sometimes when the job allows it for, allows for it, when you're not busy, you're not having a busy day, you know, you only have a couple of customers, and this one particular customer is kind of like, uh, he doesn't look very well. Like, not he, he looks physically well, but he looks kind of, kind of down, kind of sad, kind of like he's hit by the blues, you know. It, it, it's okay. I think I'd like to think that um, it's okay to talk to him for a little bit, you know. But you also need to know from their body language whether or not they're accepting of talking with other people, talking to the waiters. Um, it's hard to describe, but you just know it when you see it, you know? Yes, that, this, this, so much this as well. You just want to be, some people really just want to be alone. Um, I've been in the receiving end as well as the giving end. Um, sometimes I have been in places and people like I I take a glance I'm, I'm just um, I'm in a restaurant or a cafe and I'm not really in the mood to be bothered by other people but every now and then I just take a glance at some of the servers and see if they know and you could tell um, they know they I don't know how I don't know it's just um, reading body language is a skill you pick up it's hard to describe because you just know it applies to what they're ordering as well. Mm, eh. Well, it depends on what kind of place you work in, but yes. Because, you know, sometimes what people want is not what they need. It's deeper than what I would have thought. So, what are you reading from me now? You are expecting a wonderful, wonderful answer. You are almost as if you were expecting me to figure out what kind of order you want me to give you. Or if you want me to give you an order at all. I would say, <laughs> why? That would break the charm. <laughs> oh, that's good, that's good. What the hell is that? I guess I can say this much. Whatever I say or do to our customers, it's always related to what I'm getting from their body language. Including our interaction now. Yes. Including our interaction now. Man. Now I see why you didn't want to share. Even that was enough to make me feel like I'm naked in front of you. Mm. Okay, that's not really the intention, really. Because most of the time um, servers do this, they don't do this to open you up so that they can see what's inside you for their own sick fun. They do this for their job. So it's okay. You know, don't, don't feel awkward whenever someone looks at you. They're just, I'd like to think they're just trying to do their job, you know? By the way, I haven't ordered anything. Yes, you haven't. What are you having tonight? Hot chocolate. With ginger and cinnamon. Oh, that's a good drink. <laughs> oh, okay. For a better heart. Hmm, I guess things with Lua is not working out with you. Uh, let's see, chocolate and ginger and cinnamon. Um, for those of you in the chat, I just want- Oh my god, it's even called Bitter Heart. What is this game? What is this drink? I need some of this. Oh my goodness. Right, for some of you in the chat, or the viewers, actually, just tell me, okay? Um, I think- I think I'm talking too fast. If you think I'm talking too fast, just tell me. I'm sorry. I just- Sometimes I get really excited over stupid things. Uh, yes, just 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 tell me. I, I, I just noticed that I've been talking a hell of a lot and I haven't been playing. 
kind of want to try it. Chocolate with cinnamon and ginger. That's kind of weird. I don't know if I want to try it, but it is interesting. Yeah, maybe, who knows. Maybe you'll make one to reveal. <laughs> Talk is okay in my opinion. Okay, okay. Thank you, Yukari. Thank you very much. Here you go. Hmm. You're a pretty dramatic person. Ooh! Um, I'm sorry, buddy. I don't swing that way. But, yes, thank you for the compliment. Sebastian is also a romantic person in real life. Spending extra time decorating my... Okay. Only for... <laughs> wow, he really is romantic. Okay. Hey, Sebastian. I don't swing that way. But... Oh my god. Okay. Tell me about yourself. Hmm. What do you want to know? Anything. Oh. Okay. Um... Whenever you ask someone tell me about yourself, and they ask you what about. I feel like it'll be easier for the guy you're asking if you just have something specific, like um, if you know something about how did you get this job? Why did you choose to open a coffee shop? How did you learn how to make coffee? You know, stuff like that. You, you don't open up with anything because that basically leaves the person you're asking like a big white blank. Like, he, he, he just doesn't know what to say. Okay. How old are you? Okay, okay. Um... <laughs> uh, is he... I, I don't know, I can't tell. Is he hitting on me? No, he's not. He's just asking. Old enough to open a coffee shop. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. I guess I should say sorry for asking that. It's alright. But that's the only answer I can give. Now you're making me wonder. What should I ask next? Oh. 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 Hey. Frey, Frey, Freya. Hello, everyone. Oh, no. I can tell. I can, I can kind of tell what happened. Um, her writer friends did not accept her unique and innovative idea of a book, and they just basically trashed her idea so hard, so deep into the floor, it went all the way to China. Why are you both looking at me like that? Freya, you look horrible. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to echo our dear barista. Yeah, you do. What happened? You better be asking. You better... You'd be better asking what didn't happen. Because the answer would be proper sleep. Oh, okay. I thought... I thought... I thought... I th this is fine. This is okay. Lack of sleep, you can fix. And decent progress on my draft. Oh, okay. That's nice. You need to rest. You do. And miss my deadline? Hell no. Oh, no. Oh, Sorry, Baileys. I won't be able to keep you company. Because I have to finish this thing. And for that... I'll need a whole hell of a lot of espresso. Are you sure about that? You really should just rest. Get something to help you sleep. Espresso! Please. She knows what she needs. She's a grown adult. She needs to finish this book and she needs the energy to do it. I'll give her her espresso. Poor girl. My goodness. Good luck with that book, my goodness. Okay. Yeah. I don't wanna do this. You really need to have a rest, Freya. Just give me the damned espresso. Okay. Ah <sighs> This'll keep me from falling asleep. Oh How's the meeting? It was pretty good. I got a lot of good advice. But it also means things. And not a small number of them, mind you. Need to be rewritten. Oh. Oh. It's not that bad. Rewriting is part of the process. It's just that... It's just... I'm going to my usual corner. Thank you for your coffee. 
Oh, thanks to your coffee, I might make it through tonight. She looks horrible. She does. But don't worry about her. She'll finish it. This isn't the first time she's acted like this. No. But this time she... The, this, the stakes are pretty high. Hmm. So... What brings you here today? I'm not even sure myself. I had no plan tonight. And this place just came to mind. Out of the blue. I'll have to thank your subconscious then. Guess you should. Lua! Not sure whether I should thank it or not, though. Hi, Lua. Hi, Baileys. God, God, God! Why? Why is this happening in my coffee shop? Why couldn't it have been some other restaurant? Why couldn't it have been Lua's or Bailey's place? Why is this happening here? Oh, the awkwardness. I, I feel the awkwardness. It's literally slapping me in the face. I could cut it with a knife. It's just that palpable. How, how, mm, uh, mm. You first, no, you first. <sighs> I was just going to ask. How are you doing? I'm fine, thanks. How about you? I'm good, yeah. <sighs> oh, God. Awkward. Oh. Mm. Mm, I think I need to order something first. Yeah, you do. Oh, of course, of course. Go ahead. Hi, Sebastian. What are you having this evening, Miss Lua? Gingerbread coffee, please. What? Whoa, 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 wait, wait. Um... Chot... Chot... Chotto a minute. Gin gingerbread coffee? Hit on him in front of her? Lama? What? No. Why would I- why would I ever do that? What the heck is gingerbread coffee? What? What? Okay, um... Coffee, ginger, cinnamon? Oh wow, I can't believe I guessed that right, okay. Here it is. Thank you. My grandma used to make this drink for me. It reminds me so much of her. It reminds me of when I was growing up. With my family. Oh my god. Ah! Oh, god! Oh, the F word! No, not the F word, please. Bailey, no, Bailey, no, no. How's mm. work? It's going pretty okay. You? I'm not taking any new, any new jobs at the moment, because, well, you know. Yeah, I get it. You have enough in your savings, right? That's a very Lua thing to ask. But yeah, I do. Thanks to that last annoying job, it went well in the end. It kinda did. They paid me on time, at least, and the pay was amazing. How long are you planning to take a break for? I don't know. Until my problems are settled, I guess. And what problems are those? I'll tell you this. But don't tell anyone, okay? Not even Sebastian, who is standing in front of us. Not even Sebastian. Okay. So there's this girl. I love her. We've been going out for a few years. But I'm not really sure where we stand now. How can you not be sure? We had an argument about a week ago. It wasn't anything new. But somehow, things escalated uncontrollably. Why is that? I assume both of us were just tired. Knowing that we were fighting against centuries of tradition, we haven't really talked since our last fight. Leaving things unresolved is not a good idea. 
but I can't bring myself to start the conversation. Why? Even I'm not sure about that. Pride, maybe? Or tiredness? Or knowing that chances are we won't be able to find the best solution for everyone anyway. Baileys, I have a question. Go ahead. What do you think she's feeling right now? To be honest, I don't know. She's not like me, that's for sure. Thankfully. Why? At least it won't affect her professional life that much. I'm glad I'm a freelancer. It means I can just take a break from work without so many problems. I'm not as professional as her, you see. I think you're wrong. Really? If I were her, I would find it difficult to live life as usual. But I'd put on a lot of masks. Just to hide the feelings I was going through. It sounds difficult and comfortable. It is. But a friend told me once, you gotta do what you gotta do. He must be a pretty cool guy. He is. <sighs> What's next for us, Baileys? I don't know, Lua. I... I met some new people this week. Including that supermodel. You knew? That girl in the corner told me. Yeah, including that supermodel. And how does that make you feel? Like a fool. What? You said a lot of things that I've been trying to avoid thinking about. A lot of... Truths. He's a bit like you, you know. Attitude-wise. You get along with him. Doubt it. Opposites attract, but similarity breeds contempt. You've ever heard of that one? A lot. From a certain hipster elf. And after listening to that guy, what's your stance on... You know. Us. I'm not sure, Baileys. What about your, you, yourself? Any similar experiences this week? Oh my goodness! I have, in fact. Uh, you met a vampire, and I met a werewolf. <laughs> what are the odds? What are the odds indeed? What did your werewolf say? Hmm... Not much, to be honest. But he made a good point about the importance of family. Baileys. I know I've been stubborn about you wanting to... Wanting me to make peace with my family. And I know why that's very important for you. But Freya said something that kinda hit me hard. What was it? I was just using you as an excuse to escape my family. When I actually want to do that anyway. For myself. You know me, Baileys. I do. And you know how I feel uncomfortable with people leaving their families. Which makes me an asshole, I guess. I get why you think that way, Lua. Blood is thicker than water. What should we do? Lua. Yes, Baileys? Please let me leave my family. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'll try to get your family to accept me. That sounds like the easier thing to do after all. But you lose your immortality. You'll be an outcast among the other elves. An outcast from a bunch of overly pretentious people? Sounds great. You'll live a long time, but you won't have the perfect health and perfect life. That's the elven privilege. But it's not a perfect life. Oh! <laughs> Where does he come up with these lines? What if our relationship doesn't last? You'll, you'll have lost everything. You'll blame me. Oh, well, I'll never blame you for anything. If we're talking about who I used to be, that guy would never have blamed himself. A hundred reasons for why something failed, but never anything to do with him. But that won't happen with us. I probably will. You know why? Because I've learned so many things by getting with you, by, by being with you for 10 years. It made me a better person. So you don't need to worry about any of that. Because right now, you're the most important part of my life. I don't need an immortal life. Because without you, it won't be a life worth living. Baileys, I... I believe in you. No. Wait, are they... Oh my gosh, they're gonna kiss! No! No, not in my, not in my coffee! Oh, okay, alright. <laughs> okay. 
level of base, yes. I feel like we're living in a soap opera. You do not... No, you don't even know. Okay. Seems so. So what's our plan? Tomorrow Saturday. Are we going on a date? I'm going to my parents' place. Oh. And I want you to come with me. What? It's so sudden. Did you already have plans for tomorrow? Well, no. It's just... I'm not prepared to meet them. You'll be fine. Don't you want to tell them about this first? They'll be alright. Well... They never forbade you from dating other races? They're not big fans of elves, that much is true. But you can prove them wrong. Hmm. Okay, this could be a good first step. It is. It's it then. I don't know what'll happen tomorrow. But we can think about it, and anything else, later. I'm with you on that. So, does that mean you don't mind me? I had my doubts, but now I'm sure. I can trust you. Lua, thank you. Are you still staying at Ferenc's house? Yeah. You're staying with me then. Oh. Huh? What about your roommate? She's away for the weekend. Taking a long weekend getaway until Sunday night. Based on the side, it seems. <sighs> oh my gosh! Hmm. Spicy! Yes! Hi! Hi! Hello! Hi! Hmm. Yes? We're leaving. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Hi. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, thank you for. Thank you so much for keeping up with us this past week. You're welcome! You are so welcome! The pleasure is mine. Rufton. See you. Thank you for coming. <clears throat> oh, you're less dead now. Okay, hi. That's pretty intense. It is. Oh, you're back in the real world. I just pretend not to notice. They're like one of the main reasons why I'm writing the story. I So I have to see their struggle through till the end. It's important for the writer, you know? That's cold. What? It's not like that. It's just that... Yeah, I was cold. I'm sorry. You look better than before, though. For now. I can't tell you how I feel until it's done. And I don't... I know exactly what you need. Okay, alright. No, 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 no. Break it over here. This wolf? Is that him? I think so. Welcome, sir. Are you crazy? You can't treat a werewolf in a fury like a normal customer. Trust me. He must have his reasons for coming here. You can relax, sir. Do you need anything? Something to calm you down, maybe? Da, 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 da. I know, no, no. God. No, oh, no. Okay, I can't, I can't check. I can't check the recipe. Oh, no. Okay, 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 okay. Was it this one? Yeah, I know, I know the usual. I forgot the usual. It's been a week, okay? No, it's not it. <laughs> what? Oh no! Oh no! I don't know which one it is! Is it this one? I, I think it's this one. No! Coffee, cinnamon, chocolate. No, 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 no. Um... <laughs> Okay, it's definitely not coffee, cinnamon, chocolate. Coffee, cinnamon, ginger.
It's not it! No! I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm actually gonna die. I've never had... Oh no, I can't... I can't serve coffee to save my life. Literally. God damn it! Which is it? Um. Uh. Do I look it up? I'm gonna look it up. I mean, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna look it up. I can't remember. I can't remember everything. Normally, I just um. Okay. Gala had. <laughs> I remember the name. I remember the name. Cough. Coffee talk. Okay. Uh, Team Milk Ginger, okay, not Gamer. I'm sorry, okay? Wait, didn't I already make this? I'm sorry, Yukari, I know. Team Milk... I think it was the order. I want to see what happened if you fail. Sure, why not? Ginger coffee. Here. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, he's drinking it hard. Oh no. He just left. Oh, he just leaves. Okay, no, I do not want to be responsible for that. I do not. I. I do not want to be responsible for that. Um. Can. Can we? Can we, can we... <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't... Okay, it's okay if he mauls me. It's not okay if he starts mauling other people. It is very, very not okay if he starts mauling other people. Okay. Oh, he just leaves. That's not good. That's not good. If he starts mauling me, that's fine. But if he just leaves, that is so not good. That is very, very not okay. Oh. Oh no. Oh crap. Now no, I don't even remember what he. Okay. No, it's okay. I have my brew pad. Bitter heart. Chocolate ginger cinnamon. Oh no, there's this long conversation between Lua and Bailey's. Gosh. You kinda it is kinda interesting if you wanna see all the different bad choices though. <sighs> Gingerbread coffee, please. Ginger. I like the foamy texture that they give on top. It's very interesting. It's like a frappe, actually. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, not the kiss scene! Yeah, it's not a kiss scene, it's more like getting close. Symbolism, am I right? You actually... When you think about it, they just left really recently, right? They left? Okay, them leaving, right? And they're, they're, it's been like, I'd say maybe less than a minute or so. And then suddenly... Him, he comes up, like... You think that maybe... You just... Okay, 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 alright, we get it, we get it, calm down. Okay, 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 okay. Like... Roar, 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 
more roar. Okay, um, T. I remember it was T. T. Milk and ginger. Just leaves anyway, alright. What the hell? Is that really him? After seeing the reaction to the drink? 100%. Well, whoever he is, it's Gala. Yeah. This place survived. It would have survived anyway, but I can't say the same about the people outside if I didn't miss if I did miss that drink up. Thankfully yes, <laughs> but I think I need to close up shop early. Yeah! Oh, I don't want to cause any more ruckus and I need to clean up some of the mess anyway. Good idea! Can you get back all right by yourself? I'll manage. Take care on your back? Yeah, you better take care, take care on your way back because there's a crazy world out and about. You'll be careful too. See you tomorrow. See you. Hey, Blackwall! Welcome to the stream. Coffee up stonks. Stonks! I guess Gala's gonna come visit. Weird Sign Company criticized for unfair depictions of werewolf in their latest box office hit. <coughs> There's always something. Coachella 2020's Do's and Don'ts. Atlantic Ambassador in talks with fire regarding immigration. What was fire again? Welcome. Oh, it's uh, you're looking like. Crap, okay. Okay, hello. Good evening. Freya? Oh. Hi. When was the last time you slept? I still sleep like a normal person, you know. I slept for six hours. Last night? No. I've slept for s Six hours this week? Okay. That's not healthy! Get some rest! Really? I can rest when it's done. That's stupid! Oh, shut up. So, what's your plan now? Now isn't right at this moment. I'm planning to go to the bathroom and wash my face. I need to make sure I don't look like a dead woman walking. You do. And after that, I'll continue writing. Freya. Oh, well. You know where the bathroom is. Okay, I need something to drink now. Wow, she looks... She washes up nice! Freya... You're unemployed. Don't waste your money on coffee shop drinks. This is, that is so weird. Coming from the coffee shop owner. I know. You've been a regular for years, if only... If you only need to buy some place. It's right here. Oh, I can't do that. We don't have any customers tonight. What'd I do if this place went... I really feel bad for people who think that I feel like people should not go to a place purely because the place doesn't have anyone else um, purely because this place doesn't have any other customers because um, it, 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 it kind of feels weird when a customer is obliged to buy stuff from you I know it's something a corporate company might love but it's just Unethical, you know? It's very, very unethical. I feel bad for a person, and I feel even more bad for the company business who is running the place, because you can't just run a business that relies on a few people just to keep it afloat. Because either way, either the business or the people, the, the very few customers that are present buying from that business is going to suffer. You know? It's terrible. It won't happen. How can you be so sure? Just take this tap water and go to your work. Okay? But... Ready to just go. Right. 
see there's a customer coming in right now. So don't worry about me. <gasps> oh. Hello. Hi, Gala. What's wrong? <laughs> I know you're a man of few words, but this is maybe pushing it a bit. Freya. Sebastian. It's okay, don't worry about it. I know. I know what you're gonna say. Um, it's okay because none of us are hurt. You know, I'm truly very sorry for what happened yesterday. Yeah, I know. It's okay. Gala. Hey, it's alright. No one got hurt, right? And the coffee shop's fine. Don't think about it too much, Gala. Like Freya said, no casualties and no problems with the coffee shop. I still need to redeem myself for the mess I made, and the scare I gave you. I'm sure there's something I can do. Hmm. Why don't you buy something for the lady here? I'm sure she'll appreciate it. Hey, what do you mean? What do you, do you want to drink anything, Freya? No! It's alright, Gala. I insist. You don't have to. Please accept it. At least, it'll help me from... It'll help me stop feeling so guilty. At least, a little. All right, all right. I wouldn't mind a coffee. Not an espresso, mind you. Something with a little less of a kick. You know how to make sugar and spice? One with cinnamon? Yeah. A cup of sugar and spice, please. I'm gonna assume coffee, cinnamon, cinnamon. And I'm just gonna check first. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Spice, coffee, cinnamon, and mint. Oh my gosh, I like how I'm just eyeballing everything, you know? I just. Sugar and spice, the one with cinnamon, coffee, yeah, okay, alright. Um, I totally know what that is. Absolutely, even though it's not in the cookbook at all. Um, coffee, milk cinnamon, wait, gingerbread coffee, no it's not gingerbread coffee, um, is it milk and cinnamon? You know, when you think about it, milk cinnamon coffee is so bad. No! Coffee, cinnamon, honey. It's weird. It, it'd be so weird in real life if... Hey, Kate, um, I'd like a cup of sugar and spice, please. Yeah, sure. Just give me a moment. Just goes through every, every ingredient, just hoping to find the right one, you know? Okay, it's, it's coffee, cinnamon, and milk. It's definitely not. I, I I think I went through that before. Yeah, I did. I'm dumb. Okay, last one. Cinnamon and lemon. Cinnamon and lemon is a terrible, terrible idea. No, it's not the right one. And I have no choice but to serve it. I'm sorry. Here's a special trick. <laughs> hey. That was a bad rhyme. And this is definitely not the drink I ordered, huh? Oh, my, I'm sorry. Don't worry. It's free, I'm not gonna worry about it. Anyway, thanks, y'all. Don't mention it. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, It's It's true, it's a free drink anyway. Sebastian, are you sure there's nothing I can do for you? You don't have to do anything, Gala. It's fine. But to be honest, I'm curious. What happened yesterday? Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, you usually stay indoors during the full moon, don't you? I usually do. But there was an emergency at the hospital yesterday. What kind of emergency? Um, the hospital was really packed yesterday. After that announcement. Announcement? The one saying that a replacement government issued fury sedative will be available soon. Released seeing that news on the day of the full moon was just... Stupid. So many restless werewolves came. Asking for, for the sedative. Which isn't ready yet. But the announcement said it wasn't ready. 
just that it was coming soon. You think people would read the whole article? They only saw the headline or glanced at it at a news stall. They went straight to the hospital. I don't blame them though. Finding out that the only publicly available sedative is dangerous is difficult for some people. I ended up having to explain to explain it to dozens of werewolves. I even had to put some rogue werewolves in the isolation rooms. It was that bad, huh? Yeah, to the point that we ran out of rooms to put them in. That's why at the end of my shift, I left immediately. Normally, I'd ask a friend to lock me in one of the our, one of our 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 but it was too late. Thankfully, I was in the area. And I managed to force myself to come to your place. Y'all, excuse me for asking this, yes? But you didn't hurt anyone on the way here, right? As far as I remember, no. And I didn't see any blood in my clothes. Wow, okay, that's... That's a... Ugh. Damn, okay! We're all of a sudden a full moon, it's no joke. I mean, actually, yeah. When you think about it, there's a crazy, gigantic, wolf like creature that's just hungry out for blood. Of course, it would be dangerous, but damn, every full moon? That's crazy. How do people live like this? That's good to hear. This might sound overly confident, considering what happened yesterday, but I do have enough control to make sure I don't hurt anyone. As long as I have something to direct my fury towards, usually I end up destroying stuff around me. Or, worst case, hurting myself. Oh no. Oh, that's... Oh no, that's, that's where the marks are from. That's not, it's from that, it's not from the war. It's a claw marks. Those are your own claw... Despite all of that, I'm still glad no one got hurt. I'm always looking for the positive side, aren't you? Just doing my job. Thanks, both of you. I really mean it. But please, if there's anything I can do to pay for I mean, if there's anything I can do to help, please don't hesitate to ask me right away. I like how he just said payback. You, you kind of owe me for that um, Galahad, you know, that I gave. That I practically gave you didn't give any any money, even though this game actually doesn't show you whether or not you get money. But I'm I'm pretty sure a werewolf would not be coherent enough to give me money for my for the Galahad I just served him. In the meantime, can I order a drink? Sure. What are you having? The same as yesterday. <laughs> okay. Um, the milk and ginger. Ah. Yep. Here's a special brew. Thank you. The, the drink that saved me. Once again, thank you for helping me find this drink. By the way, Gala, now that you can be 100% sure that that drink is your natural sedative, why don't you put some in the bottle and carry it with you everywhere? That's the plan. It has to be warm though. I can use a vacuum flask, I suppose. Give it, I'll give it a try next full moon. Don't worry, Freya. I'm going to stay at my place for the next full moon. I'm not taking any risks. Before I can make sure how effective that remedy is. Oof. Oh, that's a loud bang. Hello, who's that? What the? Rachel? What's going on? Uh, what else? Your, your father? Of course. What the hell was he thinking? Coming backstage and couch out. Just to get into an argument with my manager. Huh? Before we continue, Sebastian, your cafe latte, please. Alright. Cafe latte. Cafe. Oh my god. Okay. I want to make this right. Cafe latte is milk. Okay. I know it's milk. But I'm just so insecure after that Galahad incident that I just... 
Spyro. Mmm, I, I can't. Your coffee latte is ready. Thanks. How do you manage to get backstage? He told security he was my father. And he messaged me about coming before beforehand. Said he was just going to wish me luck. So I told him to let him in, of course. He's still my father. Things were nice at first. Then my manager came, and... Ugh. I don't know why he hates him so much. It's showbiz. I'm mature enough to know what's good or bad for me. What happened after that? My Mr. Lester told the security guards to kick him up. He's still allowed in the festival area. I saw him in the crowds. Did the concert go well at least? Oh yeah. Other than the arguments backstage, everything was great. I was the first one to play on the main stage. Usually no one pays that much attention to whoever is on first, but there were thousands of people in the audience during my session. Nice. Nice. So you don't need to be at the event anymore after this? Not really. I did my stage time. And then there was this press conference after my show. After show press conference? Yeah, the pre-show was done yesterday. Today was a small one. There were almost a dozen journalists who wanted to interview me. So we just decided to do a mini-conference. Good for you. You're totally back in the game, huh? Yes, I am. Thanks to Mr. Lester. I would say it's because of you. But your managers probably worked some of his... Some of his influence too. <laughs> so why are you here? Ugh. Because of my dad, of course. I told him to come here this evening. We really need to set things straight. He needs to stop messing with my manager so much. And because this evening is the only time we can meet, we can't go to the party Mr. Lester is hosting. What party? He's hosting a party for the VIPs and artists he manages. At a club in Bell Town. Is it okay for you to go to the party without a guardian? I'm 18, remember? I'm an adult. There are so many red flags going off like you would not believe. I don't know. The moment I heard club and the moment she says, I'm 18, I'm an adult. I'm just... Girl, you need to stay with your dad this, this night, okay? I don't care what you think. I don't care what Mr. Lester thinks. You stay with your dad and nothing happens tonight. You know, it just... Oh. Yeah, but you can only enter some clubs if you're 21. Not this time. Because Mr. Lester is my manager and insists for... That's another red flag. Hmm... I'm not sure about that. It's true? No, I know you can do that by using his name. But I don't think he should do that with you. Why? I'm an adult... No, you're not, Rachel. Have you ever been to one of Lester's parties? Well, no. You have? Not personally. I've heard stories. What stories? He knows how to party. That's good then. Mm, that's not necessarily a good thing. Knowing how to party might mean something else entirely. Mr. Lester, first name Mo. Oh no. You can't really know. I mean, <laughs> I. That would be very very um interesting to say the least from the for, from the writer side but come on a memo that's okay. er, i don't know what you're talking about you'll find out especially if you keep lester on as your manager personally i don't mind wild parties but inviting an underage person to his party that might be a bit that might be a bit too far. Welcome, uh, huh? Oh, oh. Mm. Yeah. Hm. What the hell? Oh no, Dad. What? Rachel, is that Mr. Henry? Yes. Dad, what happened? Sebastian, can you get a cup of milk for him, please? Just milk? Just knock. Me. <laughs> Me out. Oh no. Knock, knock, knock. It looks terrible. I've. N this is the first time I've seen a cat with a black eye. Here. Oh. 
Oh, my, 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 my table, my counter. Ah, oh, I'm gonna need to clean that up. Okay, thank you. That, please hold on. Can someone call for an ambulance, please? Uh, they're on the way. I've contacted the hospital. Thank you. I've also contacted our Nekomimi expert personally. She's off shift right now, but she's also on the way. Thank you so much. I don't know what might have happened without your help. Don't mention it. Here they come. I'll go with you. Okay. Oh no, he- I, I can tell what happened. He tried to pick a fight, I'm sure. Oh boy. That was really something, huh? Yeah. Two days in a row. An emergency at your place. Well, at least some people think of your place as their go-to when they need help. I'm not sure if that's a good thing, but I guess it's nice. You're right. It's not every day you look at things from the bright side. <laughs> well, I'm one of your coffee shop dis disciplines, right? Disciples. Disciplines. So I can understand them. I hope Henry's alright. Me too. At least he's in good hands now. What's your plan for the rest of the night? Right, right, right! Well, that was all pretty hectic. But I need to continue writing. Take your time and place then. Will do. I am actually a little bit excited to hear what's next for Rachel and her dad, Mr. Henry. I really want to know what happens next. I hope it's nice. Because good heavens. This is a terrible story. I hope Rachel's gonna turn out all right because I, I just Ah oh. Is this what adult feeler fear feels like? Police raid on a private call cello after party. Oh. Well Well okay then. It's a good thing Rachel didn't go there. Oh my gosh, that is terrible. Fight broke out during Calcella culprits in police custody. Despite the arrests, Calcella will go on. That's a big... Oh, that's a big no. But it's a big yes because Rachel was not there. Okay, welcome. Hey, Pop. Good evening, everyone. Everyone safe and sound tonight? <laughs> so far, so good, officer. With the cop who's supposed to be watching this area hanging out in a coffee shop. I'm not so sure about that. Hey, I'm working right now. I just love multitasking, you know. That requires skill. Taking a break while and working at the same time, you mean? You know. That's an oxymoron. That's why I said it requires skill. Anyway, Sebastian, I really need an espresso to keep me awake tonight. You betcha. One triple espresso for the hard-working policeman. <laughs> An energetic espresso to keep our officer up tired, upright on patrol. <laughs> you and your sense of humor. Your espressos are always out of this world. It's just, it's just, you know, espressos aren't that hard to make. It's, it's really the coffee beans, you know. Definitely better than mine or my wife's. It's not a competition, officer. <laughs> it is for her. She thought if she could make a better one, I'd stop coming to this place so often. That's not happening anytime soon. Nice. So, anything special today? Surprisingly, no. Gotta make sure this place is safe, though. What, what, are, what are you grinning about? I mean it. You were here the last two days, right? Yes, I was. And some crazy things happened here. And two days in a row. As if the gods were trying to give me a first-hand experience to use in my story. Still fretting over your story, eh? Well, the deadline for my draft is getting near. Oh yeah. How's it going? Quantity-wise, it's shaping up pretty well. Quality-wise, honestly, I'm pretty confident. Best of luck then. Do you have any updates about the last two days of chaos? For the werewolf case, I spoke to Gal about it. What? Are you going to arrest him? Some officers at the precinct were talking about it, but in the end, we agreed not to do it. 
because he really helped a lot that night. We asked the folks in the hospital and some other people in the area. Without him, we'd have a lot more problems. He helped a lot getting most of the werewolves safe in the hospital. That's very wholesome. I, I actually, I, my heart, I can't. Oh no, that's that's so wholesome. Oh, too bad he can lock himself up. I'm, oh no. Thankfully, he didn't hurt anyone. So those who'd rather detain him can't do anything anyway. Whew. It'd be pretty mad if you did arrest. It'd be pretty mad at you if they. I'd be pretty mad at you if they did arrest him. Hey, being mad at me wouldn't solve anything. I know. What about Rachel's dad? Any idea what happened? I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure myself. Most of it didn't happen around here. What? Yeah, it seems like it happened out near Kaushala. That's a long way away. I mean, it's not actually that far. But he wouldn't be able to walk it. Not in that state. So far, that's all I know. Rachel. Rachel? Rachel. Is Mr. Henry alright? Before that, could I have a cup of hot chocolate in the dark? Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Cup of warm, dark chocolate for our aspiring idol. Yes, thank you. That's going to be fine. He woke up this afternoon. Thanks to Mr. Gala, he got help fast enough to stop things from getting worse. He's doing okay then? It'll take a few days before he fully recovers. But no permanent injuries we need to worry about. That's good to hear. I know. But still, it's all because of me. Because I didn't listen to him. When all he wanted to do was protect me. Rachel, don't blame yourself for this. Please don't take offense. But is it okay for you to leave your father alone in the hospital? His friends are there at the moment. And I can't face being stuck in a room with a bunch of people I don't even know right now. Besides, I need I needed I really needed to get away for a bit. So I told Dad I'm gonna visit Coffee Talk to get some fresh air. He's okay with that? He understands. He always does, I guess. Miss Rachel. What really happened? Laugh I with some thugs. He heard them talking about me in some very suggest. Okay. He didn't like that, of course. So he morphed into his cat form and started to fight with thugs. Why did he morph? So people wouldn't see what his human form looked like and link him directly to me. Some cops went. Some cops went to the crime scene. And they found some eyewitnesses to testify, and they managed to find the thugs. Are they fans of yours? No. It's even worse. They work for Mr. Lester. What? Oh boy. The reason why it didn't take long for the cops to find them was because they were already under arrest. Because the party went too far last night. Whoa. How did it all connect up? They're Mr. Lester's bodyguards. They were chilling after the show, having a pre-party before the big one. And you know about guys and locker room talk, right? Yeah? Well, that's what they were doing. And that was the topic of discussion. Ugh. So, there's that. I'm sorry to hear that. And you were right about his party. I'm glad I wasn't there. Once again, I owed that for... Hey, it's okay. The most important thing right now is that you're safe. And your dad made it true. I should have listened to him. He might be out of touch, but he's still way more experienced than me. And he's my father. I wish mom was here. She'd know what to do. She'd know what to say to that when he's recovered. Ah, yes, the problem of whether or not a parent is right. Because parents are still human, you don't know. You, you just don't know sometimes whether or not your, your parent is just holding you back or keeping you safe. Such is life. You know what? I'm sure you'll know what to do. You're an adult, remember? Ah, oh, wholesome. Very wholesome. Thank you. Thank you, Freya. But I don't know. All I know is that I have to be there for him when... That's it. 
that's all you have to do. It might be weird to hear. It might be weird to hear it from about something coming from Freya, but she is right. Be there when he needs you, Rachel. And whenever you need a breath of fresh air, you can come here and relax for a while. Guys, thank you. If I had enough fresh air for one day, I'll go back to the hospital now. Thank you for the update, Miss Rachel. I wish your father a speedy recovery. Thank you, Sebastian. My heart, I can't. I'm so I'm so fulfilled right now. Man. What a weekend. I know, right? Pretty crazy. Yeah, anyway, I gotta continue my patrol. Yes, continue to work hard, Mr. George. It's been a pretty weird weekend. Yes, it has! <laughs> My goodness. But overall, things are still safe around here. But even with that, never let the god down, okay? No problem, officer. Thank you for checking up on us, Officer Georgie. Okay then, see you. Okay then, bye. Bye, officer. Have a nice time. Are you going to leave as well, Miss Ray? I don't think so. I've had enough rest. And I have stories to write. You're not tired? Definitely not. In fact, I think I can get it done today. Hmm, alright. I won't bother you then. Oh, you're never a bother. Besides, this whole book project wouldn't have ever existed without this place. And you. So, thank you. This pleasure, the pleasure was mine. Now, I'm sure you wouldn't. Now, I'm, I'm sure you shouldn't spend any more time on chit chat. You've got a book to finish. Huh. <laughs> no problem, boss. You know what would be really interesting? If. Coffee Talk itself is based on the things that happened. It, I, I'm very sure this is based on something that happened that the writer has experienced. And Freya is actually just an author self-insert. The thing with the party, the thing with the couple. Um, I'm not sure about the thing about the werewolf, but I think the werewolf part is an interesting two weeks later. Wow, okay, that's... Did I just reach the end of the game? Coachella Festival proves to be a major boost for Seattle tourism. More women have spoken out and claim Morris Lester. Mo. Morris Lester. Right. Mo. Mo. Yeah, I'm not gonna say his full name. Okay. Initial reports indicate possible hurt. <laughs> oh no! <gasps> no! No! Not the. No, oh, my gosh. Sorry, something came up. Yes. <sighs> Hello! You're finally here. What's this? This is a celebration. Hey, y'all. Oh no, Yukari's right. His brother must be Mo. No! No, I'm not gonna say Yukari, but not gonna say that. Not on stream. <sighs> hey, y'all. Um, hey, yo. Hey, Freya. Uh, someone's feeling happy today. Of course! That they... They approved it! We're so happy for you! Oh. Congrats! Oh. Is... Is my voice... I just realized... Is my voice too low? It is, isn't it? My goodness. Ding ding ding. I think I said it last time, but I don't know. All right. Congrats. Oh my. Do you know how happy I am? Judging from your expression, I'd say somewhere between ecstatically and rapturously. You're goddamn right. Oh my god. Oh my god. How did they react to the draft? To be honest, 
they're not that excited about the story itself. The story was an unhappy end. Unhappy ending, huh? That's what they said. <coughs> but at this point, I don't really care. As long as they publish it. I'm content with that. Anyway. Whatever happens to, with the book now, I can take things a little slower. Because they gave me a year to finish it. The game's a bit louder, but your voice isn't that low. Okay. Nice to know. <laughs> with a feedback session every month. Sounds professional enough? Of course. They're the biggest publishers around. Enough about me. How's the coffee shop been doing? It's been great. We've had a lot of new customers lately. And, and some old timers, of course. I hear Hyde's back from his tip, trip to Korea. Yeah. You brought some... He brought us some gifts back. Oh, that's nice. Didn't get any for me? I'm not sure. But he did say... He always gifts... Gifts. Directly. Gift giving the old-fashioned way, huh? How about you? Things are great. The last time I saw you was before your mini break? Yes, we decided to go to Coachella. Wow. That event was a mess. <laughs> yeah, three hours at the festival was enough for us. So where did you go after that? We ended up in Port Townsend. How was it? I enjoyed it. Never knew a historical trip could be fun. Oh yeah, I saw your new profile picture, Alpha. What's that? A new profile picture? Freya, storyteller. Nice. La 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 Aqua. Oh ho 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 nice. Okay, would you look at that? Ah, oh, that's that's cute. Myself summary, mermaid from Atlantis, yada yada. Favorite thing is full metal conflict da 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 grandma. Move to Seattle, da da da. Trying to find a place and a person where I belong while doing something hello. Okay. You both look so cute. Oh man. <laughs> Thanks. Was that taken during your vacation? No. It was at Max. They had a Japanese style photo booth there. So I forced so I forced her to take a picture together. You were at Max too, Myrtle? Yeah. I helped her out with a uh, helped her out a bit with the booth. Thank you. You don't have to keep thanking me. By the way, have you heard? Have any of you heard from Neil? Neil! No! Oh no, is he okay? I hope he's okay. No. Mm. Not me. Ow. They did send two postcards to the uh, to the coffee shop. The ship has been officially sailed. Yes, Raviel, it is now official. I don't care. They don't. They don't say it. It is. It is. It is totally thing. It. There. Those two are the thing. It's. It's so obvious now. Yeah, one's from Coachella. Oh, that's not even far away. Why send a postcard? Hard to tell with them. What about the second? It's from New York. What? What are they doing in New York? Beats me. Working on their mission, maybe. Huh, yeah, probably. It's then more of a chance there. Anyway, guys, we're leaving for tonight. Oh, come on, so soon? We're here, we were here for hours before you arrived. But we need to work tomorrow. Fair enough. Take care on your way then. Good luck with the novel. Thanks. See you, Sebastian. See you around. And that leaves Bailey and Lua, I'm pretty sure. They look happier than when I first met them. They do. It's not easy to find someone you can be Yes, it's not comfortable to find someone you can be comfortable with in such a short amount of time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Sorry if it seems like I'm ignoring you, Baileys. No worries. I don't feel ignored at all. Are you by yourself tonight? No, I'm waiting for Lua. She has some work to do this late at night. Yeah. She's been doing some overtime these past few days. How are the two of you doing? Things have been great. In fact, after 10 years together, we're finally moving together next month. Wow, congrats. But I thought Lua lived, Lua lived with her flatmate. We're moving to a new place. She got promoted recently. And her company is providing her with an apartment. That's nice. That's very nice. Wow, she must be a really big deal in her office. Yeah, she must be. Well, she definitely earns more than me. That's not saying much, Baileys. 
<laughs> you shouldn't say that to a fellow to a fellow freelancer. Oh, here she comes. Bailey's, I'm so sorry. I didn't expect that it would take so long. I thought it would be done by... Honey, it's alright. Freya and Sebastian have been keeping me company anyway. Oh, hey Freya. And Sebastian. I'm well, sorry for barging in without saying hi. How's it going? I would say things are great. But not as great as you two, lovebirds. Ah! <laughs> uh... You told her already? Only about the moving in part. <laughs> oh, as you've heard, we're going to be moving in together next month. Where is it? Not far. I mean, the company provided the place. So they want to cut my commuting cost as much as possible. That's thoughtful of them. It means they don't need to reimburse my taxi fees when I'm working overtime. Oh yeah, that too. It also means we get to visit this place more often. That's a good point. We owe this coffee shop a lot anyway. Don't mention it. I have a question for both of you. Go on. Last time we met, I believe you were going to introduce Bailey's to your parents. How'd it go? Man, your father didn't kill me at least. Well, at least Papa let you eat lunch with us. That's rare, you know? I know. And at least they didn't say no. Which means a lot, I guess. It was a good start. It was definitely a good start. Anyway, Baileys, we need to go now. Or we'll miss the intro again. You folks going somewhere? Yeah, we're going to watch the midnight screening the midnight screening of Full Metal Conflict. I didn't take you for someone who likes FMC, Lua. I don't, but this guy loves it. Hey, he always enjoyed watching me playing the game. Oh, it's the movie, okay. I enjoyed watching you, not the game. Too bad I didn't introduce you to Myrtle just now, Baileys. She worked on the game. Really? Oh, well. I'll be visiting this place more often. I'll probably meet her again one of these days. You probably will. Now go, you lovebirds. You don't want to miss the movie. Alright, catch up with you later, Freya. Bye, Sebastian. Enjoy the movie. Everything is in peace. Everything is peaceful, as it should be. There they go. I'm so happy for them. They've still got a long way to go. And probably a lot more obstacles in their path. But they're moving forward. Yes. How will you write their story? As it is. It's beautiful enough. And it has enough drama. Ha! That's one way to put it. Yes! There's so much drama! I can't even. It's just... Ah. Anyway. What's that look for? You haven't told me about... Any of our other friends here? How are they doing? You only skipped coming for 10 days. What do you expect? Come on, you played an important part in my writing process, remember? Well... There are some updates about the regulars. Tell me, tell me. Where should we start? Hey, it's Lua. Lua visits this place more often now that they live nearby. Last time they came here, they were talking about- Oh no, I missed it! Oh, hey. Hyde returned from his trip to Korea and bought gifts. Some were more special than others. Oh my gosh! He said he's considering moving back to Seattle. No, they're- Oh, yeah. Hyde and Gala are a thing! Oh, okay. Aqua continues her work with the university. She's still working on small indie games. Uh, she's not alone now. Okay, that's nice. Neil... The only news about them are the two postcards they sent me. That's fair. Rachel is back at the recording studio preparing her first solo album. She found a new manager, someone who made the news as a legend coming back to the industry. That's nice. I'm sure that pulled some strings. And finally, Freya. She finished her book, get published, and having and have some signing sessions. Sadly, the book didn't sell well. She still visits regularly, now working as a freelance writer. Okay. Ah. Oh. Writing and game design: Muhammad Fat Pani, Chris Anthony Hadiputra. These guys, I'm pretty sure they. These are like. They 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 took it personally from their from their events. 
from the things they experience, I'm sure. Oh man. This is nice. This is a nice game. Press any key to skip. Do I want to skip the, the the credits? Do I really want to do it? Nah. Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, hello. What? Welcome. Hello, Sebastian. Good evening, sir. Um, have we met before? I'm sure this is your first time here. Of course I've been here. In fact, I've worked here before. What? Wait. No way. Is that really you? Neil? It's Neil! Oh my god! It's been a while. You've changed a bit too much. I've learned a lot about how to live with your people since then. <gasps> it really is Neil! Oh my god! I assume it was a success then? M Multiple successes. What's with the new look then? Just trying to blend in. It seems like an earthling immigration agency is after me. Now that you've mentioned it, somebody did visit this place looking for you. When was it? Not so long after your second visit here. Was he a bald guy in a suit? Yes. That FIRE agent. You've seen him? Yes. Thankfully, I've changed my appearance, my appearance since then. By the way, you can drop the act in front of me. What? So you finally noticed. Notice what? To think that such power can be born from our kind. Oh, okay. You're good with your act though. It took a few tries, but there are some timelines where I... where I forget to pretend that I don't have some knowledge of certain stuff. Okay, all right. We're, we're going full on fantasy right here, right now. Okay, all right, okay. Time Timeline, timelines. Huh, interesting. Now I'm curious to know about those mistakes. Well, it happened a few times. First, when Freya told me about her meeting in the elevator. Then there was the time, the first time Rachel visited this place. And then the last one involved you on your second visit. Huh? Oh, and there was another one right after Freya got her draft approved. Can you show it to me? Assuming you know how to communicate. How I communicate with my kind. Never tried it, but let's see. You've been the main story of the game, but you haven't seen everything yet. Huh? Hmm. Okay. All right. Oh no. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Oh no, I shouldn't have. No, 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 no. Okay. Well, 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 well. This took a really interesting turn. This took a really interesting turn. This took such an interesting turn. I really feel bad for the people who are watching this stream. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. I should have. I should have. I didn't know it was coming. Oh no. Okay. Ah. Uh, but you know what? I think I'll end the stream right here. Well, at least for coffee talk. Or not. Um, because I'm probably not gonna be doing the extra bits. For, I think that's for that's gonna be reserved for the people who are playing this game. I should I feel like I should owe the developers of Coffee Talk that much, you know. But yes, this has been a very interesting and amazing game. My goodness. Oh, okay. Well, plot this indeed. I don't I don't I don't know how to. React to that, my goodness. But that that was a very wonderful game. I really enjoyed it. I really do. I it's almost it's just ah the experience, it's so nice. I d I don't even know how to put the words, but I feel like I wanna play this game again off off stream. Just just to find out what I missed. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What was that? Um, first time with Rachel, second time with Neil, and that one time Freya got the draft published. Oh boy, that's very interesting. All right, well, um, yes, the game is out. Um, it's not on sale, 
but it is available if you want to get it from Steam. Anywho, yes, I suppose this is going to be the last stream for Coffee Talk. Because, my gosh, I'm such a, I'm, I'm, at, I'm at such a loss for words from, from that ending. I, oh my gosh, Sebastian, Sebastian is actually some sort of alien or person with special powers. Who knew? I certainly don't. I wish I had such special powers that I could use in real life. My gosh. The only special powers I have is just a special door that lets me travel to different places, and that's not even mine, that's Tipsy Traveler's special, special door. I'm, I'm just, I'm just a bartender. <laughs> but yes, that has been the last stream for Coffee Talk. My name is Sebastian Smith, and if you enjoyed this stream, please, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. Hit that bell button. I am really not used to saying those words, my goodness. Yes, also, if any of you have not followed me on Twitter, please do. Oh, my gosh. I don't, really, I don't even know what to tweet. I'm, I'm probably not going to tweet anything. Yes, okay, alright. Uh, alright. I guess... I guess this is it for Coffee Talk. What's next? Free Talk. Well, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Please, come back soon.